And that is all consistent with what we have heard from local shoppers who tell us they don't feel they have a choice but to pay up or make those tough choices. From gas to food, consumers here in Greater Houston are feeling the rise in prices. Every time you go and shop, every like a price of something has gone up by so much, it's insane. A lot of produce, milk, eggs, um, really just about everything. To monitor this, the USDA has a Consumer Price Index, or CPI, which is a measurement of the average change in cost of goods over time. And the data speaks. The grocery store purchases CPI increased 1.2% from December 2021 to January 2022 and was 7.4% higher than January of just last year. Restaurant and takeout cost CPI from this same time frame was slightly better, but still steep, going up 6.4%. Consumers getting used to... Paying more out of my checking account. <laughs> and it's not over. In 2022, the USDA predicts grocery store prices will go up 2 to 3%. For restaurants, it's 4 to 5%. The Houston Food Bank making the point that the existing need for food is becoming even greater, especially in underserved communities. Households are not making enough money. Food becomes the flexible expense. Uh, so that's why you see food insecurity. That's why you see hunger. Everyone now just doing what they can. Cut back where you can, maybe get generic products. Um, drive less. Just dealing with it. We don't have any other option, unfortunately. So what can you do to save? Kroger gave us these tips. Use a loyalty card and fuel rewards. Explore and download your store's options for digital coupons. For Kroger's, use the app. Consider shopping the sales, buying the store brand, or in bulk, and meal plan. For more resources on how you can do this, you can head to our website, click to Houston.com. For now, reporting live from Sugarland, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, 2 News.